there is something going on that possibly not all the developers or, or all the software is yet taking advantage of with the new Mac Pro. In that, um, if you look at the, um, the, the Geekbench performance charts between the, um, the old Mac Pro and the new Mac Pro, um, they say that you're kind of going to get about, I think it was up to two times the performance with a new machine compared with the old machine. That's generally true in the tests that we've done. That, obviously it varies by, by, um, by the exact application, but that's kind of generally true. Apple on their Mac Pro page are claiming six and a half times the performance with regards the number of AMP designer plugins that you can run in Logic. Right. We've tested that. We found it 6.9 times, mm -hmm. but specific to AMP designer. <laughs> <laughs> with space designer, it's about the, the kind of two, three times that, um, that the, the actual performances are, are suggesting. So that suggests either there is something specific about the way AMP Designer works that it really fits the way that um, the Mac Pro is designed, or they've updated the coding for AMP Designer to work much more effectively with the way that this works and they haven't done it with anything else yet. If it's that second case, then hopefully it's something that other developers are going to be able to take advantage of and we'll see much better, bigger increases in performance um, well, as as people update.